At the Circle of Atonement, the way we approach the Course is very important to us. Uh, our approach is to be as much of the purest as we possibly can be. There are many ways of approaching the Course, and I think many students feel that how you interpret the Course should be either a very personal matter, perhaps a more mystical kind of matter, maybe more metaphorical. Um, however, we try to take our cues from the Course itself, and it claims that it's written in a very straightforward, plain, direct, and simple way. It claims that it means exactly what it says. Uh, it often talks about it means this literally. It sometimes discourages us from taking something allegorically or metaphorically. Uh, and the way I've come to see it is, imagine this. Imagine that you're, say, a swim coach, okay? And you're trying to teach these kids how to swim in the best way possible. And every time you give them an instruction, they say to you, oh, I know what that means. My inner guidance tells me to interpret it this way. Or you're speaking in metaphor, aren't you? You mean when you say do laps, you mean to lap up you know, the marrow of life or something like that. If you're a swim coach, you're going to say, no, no, I'm trying to give you instructions so you can become better swimmers. And I think the Course is trying to do the same thing. It's trying to explain to us in the plainest way it can, how we can become miracle workers and how we can be set free from the things that imprison us inside. And, and we at The Circle think it wants to be taken at its word. And so we do that. And our experience is that when we do that, when we set aside all those ways in which we might be inclined to interpret it, but instead take it at its word, we find that's where the really amazing and rich and profound teaching comes out. And that's where the incredibly useful practical instruction comes out off the page. And suddenly for us, the Course becomes not more dead, not more two-dimensional, but just the opposite. Far more alive, far more powerful, and at the same time, more practical. So we think he's a lot more like a swim coach than he is like some mystical poet or composer of spiritual riddles or writer of koans. Um, he's trying to just talk us into, in a very plain way, a whole different way of being. And that's the essence of our approach.